You could say barbering is in the blood of the Salvi family. My father and my uncles and my grandfather on both sides of my family were all barbers. Everyone just became barbers. Donna Salvi's grandfather, Francesco, opened the Lemonster shop in 1938. The torch then passed to her father, Lee, then to her brother, Marty. When Marty moved to Colorado, it was her turn. I actually was the first female barber in the family. It was a little scary at first. But Donna Salvi doesn't back down from a challenge, just like her late father. His desire to learn motivated her to stay on trend. With all the hair today, gone tomorrow styles. When long hair came into play, like the Beatles era and all that, my dad actually went to a special school to learn how to cut long hair so he could still stay in business. The Salvi's ever-expanding customer base, a credit to their willingness to evolve. Now men and women come into barbershops and we learn how to do everything, not just haircuts. We do hair colors and perms and highlights. And I got certified with the American Cancer Society, getting wigs for cancer patients. We also have a hair replacement business for um, men and women with thinning hair. Salvi says it's all about keeping customers happy. No complaints from Jim, a regular for 55 years. She does a great job. When I come home, my wife says, boy, you look nice now. Over the years, when you have customers, you become friends. They tell you things, and I listen, and sometimes I like to, you know, give advice, and they'll take it or not take it. But it really just comes from yeah. the love in our hearts that we, you know, have for our customers. You want your goatee trim today? Please. <laughs> Salvi's grandfather's original barber chair still remains in the shop. As she works, her own chair inspires her day after day. I had our chairs reupholstered, and my boyfriend sneakily took part of it and had it embroidered and had the whole timeline of my grandfather's name and my father and my brother Marty and then my name at, at the bottom of the list. That was the best gift that anyone could have ever done. Yeah, that was the best gift. Very inspiring and everybody loves it. Remember we said this was a family business? Say hello to Aunt Kitty, cousins Judy and Rick, son Ricky and mom Virginia. The secret is a uh, personality. I certainly am proud of Donna and uh, I know that her brother out in Colorado feels the same as I do and he being a barber also. He gave me a lot of advice, but he always believed in me. He always would say, you got this, Donna, you got this. And, uh, and he was right. I got it. People inside in this town work hard, extremely hard. Double shifts, overtimes, two and three jobs. And if they see you work hard, that wins their endorsement. Lemonster Mayor Dean Mazzarella, nearly 25 years in office, is the state's longest serving mayor. He loves his job, but... I despise, I don't like the politics. I like getting work done. I, I don't like the politics of it. The former police officer says lessons learned on the street help explain his longevity as mayor. Every day I think about, you know, that, that camaraderie of being a police officer and again, the way that you can help. He's reminded of his responsibility as he makes his way through the city each day. St. Cecilia's is a regular stop. One of the parishioners, Louis Charpentier, who's lived to 104, was a sculpture. It's carved this beautiful, life-size, uh, gives me goosebumps just talking about it. It's beautiful crucifix. And it's just out of one piece of wood. What pride, you know, and, and, and that's sort of symbolic of the whole city. If he could give his younger self some advice, I'd say spend more time with your family. Yeah, you give everything here. Mazzarella says he has no ambitions for higher office. Just like Dorothy in his favorite movie, he's learned what's most important in his life. There's no place like home. Absolutely, isn't that symbolic?